Hello, this video is to give you information on how you can complete this assignment number two in the Start Here folder, the student information form. This assignment has two components. The first one is to introduce you to Google Apps. Why? Because Google Apps is used a lot in education and it's free and easy to use. And the second part is to give you a product that you can use to gather information about your students in your own course. So the first part is if you are unfamiliar with Google Apps, please click this on and be taken to this page. What you need is a Google account. So if you have a Gmail, you'll be able to log in and use the Google Apps. This tutorial here will walk you through how to set up a Google form. It's pretty simple and easy to do. So walk yourself through this. Then you will go here. This is my example from the class. You could have something like this and of course customize it to what your needs are. I like to gather information about my students at the very beginning of the course, which is just between me and the student as opposed to the student giving a response in the public discussion forum. And I like to take the pulse of the course and see how many students are novices and how many are seasoned. And if I can see that I have a lot of novices, I'm going to see what I can do to alleviate the anxieties that the students often have when they're starting an online course. And after you have completed whatever information you want to gather from the students and you are signed into your Google Apps, you will go click up here and you will be able to see the student responses. The next part of this is to be able to put it in your course. Click up here to the send button. You can see you have a lot of different ways that you can send this form, but for our purposes, we're going to go here and we're going to get the link. You can shorten the URL, which is very helpful to do, and copy the link. Then go in your course and submit that link. So you can put it under the assignment link for now and label it whatever you would like to label it. And that way we can review and look to see how your form is. So the idea is to make a student information form and put it in your developmental course shell for review. Here you can just simply let me know that you have already done that so we can look at it and give you feedback about it. If you have any questions about how to complete this assignment, please let me know and I'll be more than happy to help you with it. Thank you.